Welcome back to Spirits Wear. I'm Andrew Darrington, your host. Tonight, we're here in Canton, Texas. Uh, we're at Cube Brew uh, Brewery, um, which is also the Super Sperm Restaurant and Brewery. Smokehouse. Smokehouse Brewery. Yeah. Uh, I'll get it eventually. Um, it's our seventh uh, episode. Uh, Josh, it's been awesome. You're back, back in fold. Mr. Dollar was here last time. Uh, and uh, we've got a couple brews that are already poured for us that uh, Garrett has poured for us. Uh, we also have a couple pours of the Jack Daniels uh, single malt. If this was from a couple years ago. Um, I, I wanted to introduce you to American malt first. Uh, it should be pretty pretty nice on palate. Uh, so we're going to do that. Also, I've got I'm representing Wino tonight. Uh, Crystal Springs. Uh, Jim and we call it Lead Ruts, uh, his, uh, his team there. Uh, thanks so much for having the shirt for me, and uh, thanks for uh, really supporting uh, East Texas with spirits, and I'm uh, glad to have your shirt on tonight. Uh, so tonight we've got the uh, brewmaster of Cuban Brew, the Silver Spur Smokehouse and Brewery, hot in-house, uh, we're eating your element right tonight. Um, uh, we're doing it on Wednesday night, which is a little bit different. You guys made some edits uh, to your schedule, so we've got Garrett Woodward yep. uh, here with us. Thanks so much for uh, letting us come into your domain uh, tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking about how you got Tanks, Texas, and, uh, and and some of the cool stuff that you have coming on, and then some of the things that you guys do in the Canton area. Uh, I'm most excited about the fact that you're a brewery that some people forget about or they don't know about. So I want to make sure that we get you and your and your company introduced and, and or reintroduced uh, to the area, reach them if they know you're out here. Just yeah. hidden little den or you know people like the hell build up that after beer. Wow. Why do you like some beer across? So we have a good following, but there's a lot of people that don't. Don't know about us, but across twenty. I so, don't. Yeah, we're just trying to work on that. Getting that exposure out there, still a little bit more market. Gotcha. So let's talk first about where exactly you're located. You're obviously located in Ten, but you're located north of north of twenty on nineteen, about a half mile north of twenty on the right. On the right, and you're at the KOA uh, area. Uh, Campies, right? And uh, so, not only do you have uh, your brewery here, you also offer some spirits. Uh, we do Marshall, Brew Marshall, locally uh, distilled. Right, right. Um, actually, been doing project. Um, yep. Um, I came up in the beginning. Yeah. I really big into being local, supporting local people. Uh, our resort general manager is his son. That's from this. Mm. So he came in and let me help you out. Yeah. Brought us some good uh, drink recipes, but then bourbons. I was able to our blackberries and ash or our um, blueberry. Don't uh, on the name, but the, the vodka blueberry. Oh, sweet. Uh, we have a regular our freeze, which is uh, their rise and blue. We just become a matter of office, but being an only. So it was a bit extra play, it was a little bit. Right. I love hearing those uh, those sounds from the kitchen. I mean, it reminds me of my days whenever I was a DMO, a dish machine operator. Right. <laughs> and then uh, cleaning the dishes, and I mean, that's that's what the kitchen about. You know what I mean? Uh, so, were you fourth of ten? Oh, I just came back from Hartville. Oh, uh, we have a bourbon barrel beer oh. sitting out there. Uh, and he took two of his single malt barrels. Here, okay. Uh, I did a imperial stout. A model that I gave was Scotty Cookie, the Italian. Oh, yeah. I've got a bar, every chocolate, almonds. Ooh. That was a model for that beer. Set came out of the mentor about Popper Set, did that result in the barrel and kinds to Or that was back to So I'm thinking four cubes and seven minutes done. It's been in there a little bit over two months. Well, to do Sam? Yep. Both. I'm in very patient. I've been here. I think it's six months. Right. It's very hot. But yeah, so I'm not giving it more. Good at Evel. Yeah, I'm traveling. Yeah, and then the other thing he had the fur oil. After that happens out, 
you'll take our best still. And this guy kept the distillery wall created was out of the natural beer. That's just a low cross collaboration. Right, yeah, because the whiskey will start as beer. So having that first, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so you have Turner Marshall uh, showcase for spirits, one house. You have some wine too. Right. Yeah, Brandon Lambert. Brandon Lambert, yep. Yeah, they're Lambert labeled. Yeah, okay, cool. We've been with them since the very beginning. Yeah. A lot of little water employees have been good, good friends with Kerbal uh, Deck. Yeah. Though so we went out there and said, up and uh, big carry and we were such a field. Awesome, awesome. And then you guys are a great market. Yeah. Right. All right. So, um, how long have you guys been? We opened. One thing, July of night. Right, because it was, I'm assuming it's some soft clothes. We were to be rough. Stuff like that. And then we started brewing it. I believe it in November. Was it originally set up to, to brew? I mean, is that what we wanted to do? Or? It was good of an afterthought. So, my dad is the. People like the owner, I could look at the actual title, we don't know, I'll see you that. Sure, my hand, but yeah. The Okay. And why didn't they call this two owner? And we did already do craft beer, do local stuff. Right. And I've been brewing for a while in the garage. Hey, why don't, why don't we try to do it ourselves? Right. So we grabbed a bit and we added on this section. Uh, that two word approach to the restaurant after it was already storing in the front. Right, gotcha. Um, and you guys survived through COVID. Which I was telling you a story before we came on. Like this place was like one of the places that my wife and I had survived on uh, during COVID. Um, obviously, it impacted restaurants greatly. Uh, but you you had a release just before COVID it, that we loved this Oreo beer. It was crazy. We carried a uh, crowd in here literally every weekend, and we you got the you know, patio always. It was awesome. You guys had uh, turkey, pork, brisket, ribs. I mean, it, it was it was amazing. Every weekend, um, we just uh, appreciated the fact that we could you know drive 15, 20 minutes down the road from we live close to Bayham on the Lindale side of things. Um, uh, but it was it was awesome. And you guys were very hospitable during that time. And, and we we definitely understood you know, the hardships and how slow things were. Uh, but the beer was amazing during that time. Um, so, but you, you didn't grow up from here. No. No, you didn't grow up here, no. right? I, I, I keep going down a little. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, let's talk of like, you know, you're from Rosebead, right. California, yeah. right? And yeah. you go to school there. You went to junior college there, right? Or like a... I did some uh, trade school and like certificate classes. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, some management. Okay, well, I know it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Went to school there, grew up there. We got the Inland Empire. Uh, we were doing a lot of trucking in my head. That's the big curve. Uh, no war and oh yeah, and the yeah. place we got down with gas fees in the seventies. That's that's where I learned how to go to for them. I would go to weekend, summer, and so tech the game on full time. Um, right, and of course how we had two thousand eight. The thing is over on now. So yeah, I got put in the back end and ended up. Find a job with that a colleague of one bakery house that uh, we're doing in the bank with Danny Bay, Freddie Max. So, uh, they get a closure, we go in and fix the house back up again and uh, get the where he set up with that my market. So, that was kind of what I was doing out there. And Heather, they're a friend of, or I guess, so I don't know how many years at that point, but she's, she wanted to be a vet. She was a, UC San Diego, got her bachelor's in biology, and I go to that school, apply, was not it. But all she had was dog and cat. We get in there, they want people with, yeah, horse, they're not again, a lot of They that leg up, I guess. So if you got an internship in Virgin over here, or, look. Ah, look at Yeah. So she came up for an internship, ended up extending it, and then said, no, the cool what I want to do. I love these fun. I like this. We had a class out here. You know, um, they had them offering her a job as the team lead for the Bremen department. So, are you here while, while she's no? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, so you're right. Right. Are you doing a long distance deal? Yeah, yeah. I came up to two different groups. Okay, we've been together since 
I'll be here at high school and it's probably five, six years later. Okay. So, just since I want to take the job, I've been out here a few times, but then today, sure, I'll, I'll move. Yeah, I, I live in Illinois at that time, so. Sure. Yeah, get about a year, have them up that. A lot. Yeah. So, um, how does your dad end up out here? Okay, so, a <laughs> few days after being here, I was in the job site, and I ended up getting the job as a uh, superintendent for a, uh, I don't know, I drive here um, in the Cedar Creek area. Okay. Uh, I've been here for a while. Yeah, we've been doing stuff in California. Do a spec out, fifth that is for I like that. Oh, Ellen. Oh, enough to give her help. Mark, right. Out here, telling him, you know, he had no arts. We could let her house scare it's out. What is it? Wow. So, money went a lot further. Yeah. So, he started coming out of here, just little by the hole. Yeah. And, you know, the line, uh, the maker, and we got her pulled out. Awesome. And we mean, uh, the boy have it. It's uh, for a few years, a silver for our means. Then I do a lot of stuff around here, Brave. And, yeah. We go there waiting at her. He don't like outside of this house to take the devil even on. They were be done. Yeah, we we be going out the uh, you know, uh, deep team. Right. So what got you brewing in saying your garage? Uh so with most brewers it's probably a common story, Mr. Beer. Have you seen those? I had the wine kit. Okay. And so we were wine those before. Was like Mr. Yeah. Wine? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We went to like wine and the rum and then uh, we had a couple friends got us sent to like craft beers, and then my wife and I's palates were so far off that we got into wine. Then we got into wine, her palate was like on the sweeter end, I was in the drier end until we made a big move. We made a big move from like West Texas to here, and my dad was drinking nothing but like strong reds. And he brought a case of strong, you know, like. Yeah, blend reds, but still on the drier side. So that's all we had. Like, I mean, we were moving crap was in boxes. I mean, it was cluster. And so that's all we had. And so I was working and she was setting up the house and he was helping her. That's all they had to drink. So both of them were just, you know, I come home and they were two bottles in, you know, and, and, she, and then immediately she converted it to, 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 to reds and thankfully so. And so, um, yeah, we were in the wines, and so I've got a couple of those wine kits because our, our uh, palates were similar. We just did tap maids, and they didn't turn out great. How did your Mr. Beer kids? Yeah, I think we were very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was horrible. It was some type of lager. Um, we said, for a little palate of their all that dress, water, you know, the other bit. And for a they don't get pretty good control. Correct. Uh, gets bottled in for all stemming up. Two liter bottles. Right. It, it takes a horrible. But me and my roommates were a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> Freaking all the time. They got us drunk, so. Yeah. yeah. It was a bully, a waste. Right. But I got out that little park on. Yeah, sure. I had a, a buddy who was a brother in law one over, one of the middle, and the stage, uh, big curve down there. So, right before moving out here, I stopped the group with them and then rocked. The yeah, I was, uh, the more dim the system than a Plastic bucket from Mr. Beer. Right. Come out here and watch uh, uh, her boss's husband was over. Oh, we got to talk in. Sure. You know, he uh, out me out. Um, so I deal with Sam. Made for a great excuse to just straight beer up some days. Sure. Out, um, one day we were in Austin and we had a wife. And, uh, now she's the one. You got married out here? We got, we got married back in Delaware. Okay, yeah, so we were out here forever, but uh, you know, all the family was still back there. Sure. Couldn't win that. Doubt it. Yeah, we went with Dan Austin for Amethyst or something. And all the further out. Oh, we Yeah, sure. Hey, let's stop and we'll check the place out. And the line store over kids. All that. They came like that every other, every other Sunday type of thing. I need to do it myself or with their walk thunder. I have a stupid time to uh, meet up with other guys and drink beer up on that, make some beer. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, and that's in collaborative pints too. Right. More you know, they were I'm sure that group probably caught on to if there's a couple of you that are doing it, maybe I'll try it. And it became more than just the two of you making it. Maybe right. Maybe three or four. And then come and take us to open up now. Okay, yeah. yeah. There. yeah. Okay. yeah. So, you know, other than there all the time, try to style. Yes. Every time I grew, I'd bring a left of beer over. 
Yeah, why not know what do you want to do? Why bring that? We just got a snowball from there. Uh, our covered patio, our brewery at the old house, you know, kegerator, fridges, stuff, a lot of a white aid in it. Oh, man, it was very happy when I ended up starting here. Right, right. And I'll blast up out of the patio. Yeah, sure. So, what did the first days look like here? I mean, it was uh, probably trial by fire a little bit. Actually, wasn't bad. Okay. So, at the first, probably this uh, about a couple of all the car on the little all around the road. You're up in, uh, oh, Golden, Denver? Oh, North Fork, those to Wyoming. I can't remember the name. I think, um, who was that big road tip there? They didn't go so far, they were all up, they know, or if you know, I guess. Well, for this, oh, that been so much. Followers. Anyway, it's down now, and that's just what we have here. And it was basically a big group that, okay. This is a middle taker and not a bag, but ended up the uh, model and the system at home. So the mimic what this system wants. Okay. So all our rest of the would have to dial in and get these to a small version of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were some hiccups, you know, sure. learning about the mixer system. But go look that because I would make it a small version at home. I kind of knew how it went. Right. So what were the, what were the first batches? Uh, our first two batches was a very Latin okay. and the Mexican down. Was there a reason you picked those two? Um, really can't remember right now. Um, had done half spot a bit to everybody saw it. Um, this thing said, I can't remember where that came from. Well, they were both with Yeah, our first release was, I think it was like Wesley Truix. It was a big town. He had a big old house down with Bar Arnsberg. That's the survey on the law side. Right. And had people from all over Canton around here. And it's, they come out and, Love the beer. Really? So I am. Then it got migrated into more beer. It was a slow, a slow progress. We started off with two fermenters and one bracket. So back. Uh, just in the beginning, like that top, and our boys just fall. You know, I, I, I would want you bit. We have too many, we have too many takes or rest off of, but people around to where we were, or that we're open, they started Try the beer, it's like with it, get an accent of that six. Yeah. And little by little, we started that, and more beers started inventory. Yeah. And, and more uh, kegs. So we went from two collectors to uh, five collectors that still needed to add more goods. We had a part time keeping up to play here and for father. The egg didn't have what you all did. Yeah, so we'll get in fresh funding here. Sure. Uh, so, how did, on those first couple days, how did you pick what was going to be guided? Did you have? You know, employee recommendations, would be a public recommendations, or did you now kind of like what you wanted to do? Yeah, I kind of wanted to stick with a few basic styles. You know, we have IPA, set glides, and uh, just some standard styles. Everybody else is going crazy with it. I wish I didn't know you what it's all about. Right. I, I knew this wasn't the town doing it. In fact, it's not the end of the very wrong, big little ultra down. Right. So we kind of started small. Right. And, uh, Using them into it, yeah. And when we did that, well, it's a kind of work all over here. I you know I had my server great or heavy box. Well, let's see. Yeah, I don't take that. Hey, let me get that. Well, so a little by little, after that, buddy. That's cool. Well, that's already right. that's a great marketing right. opportunity. I, I don't really give away free beer, take somebody away from the yeah. big boy there, right? So, um. You 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 kick off the app or and uh, house the house the rest up doing pretty good. And that point was good. We've done good. Mm -hmm. um, you, and you watched your beer like six or eight nine months out. You guys open pipe. Rock and real bad of I think that party was mid November. But no, I see. How how long? Obviously, your your construction is much different now. Right. Um, how long does it take for a beer to be started? Like you've got some brain tops there to to die. Now I'm not talking about candy. I'm talking about like you ready to put a keg. On average, two weeks, uh, 17 days. Okay. We we almost. 
dragged out. So mostly I'll go brief ass, high up all beer, log. I think we were I'm a bit. We just did a uh, rent fill first time in a log breaker at Reason Week, and it's got the take so to read most of it. Hey, I'd say I, that's a lot of money that we're losing by it. But the is low pile, so if I had to try that out on that turn. Well, you just look at it. We just kept it uh, on their view of it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so not much reception. Yeah. We yeah. haven't been put it on there. It's still is that the over? Is that the process? Well, you gotta get a week to a week to get there. there. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll we'll see. Yeah. Like, gotcha. So gotcha. we'll have it in the next week or two. Um, definitely, without ever put it. Okay, and then we'll oh, I guess we need Um So the German film here, we we can look through that in the next maybe week or so. Yeah, part two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, any anything else you can tell us about the prison? Oh, right now we're in this time of the first one day tales here. Um, and society but uh, well, uh, it's made the piece to have uh, first box a month. But that you know, they take a lot. They teach. They teach. Yeah, I'll be They don't care. So we don't talk about them. We can't. We can't think that. So often. we're possibly real bad. People get very bad. But so in Athensbury, we we enjoy the uh, apricots. Yeah, they're apricot. Uh, I don't know if they or they have do it. Is that what it is? I'm not sure. I haven't been there. Yeah. I haven't been there. But I don't know. Well, I sit out there. I was there. We, my wife, I was like here. Uh, which, and your peach, it was not more but our favorite. It's a lot. She's not a great right this. She's not a great point. But um, she'll drink the peach. I will not say it. You might go like this. It's still here. Right. It's not that over the top. I never repeat Bradley, but that. It's weird. <laughs> By ask the sort of the AG why we pitch it to them. Right. It's not more power. Gotcha. Okay. So, what do you tell us more about? Future. Is that what's on? I want to talk about some cool stuff that's coming. Let's circle back. Okay, you talk about the beers coming up. So. Like, so, no, no, no. Before you, we start there, we got to talk about the fire. Okay. So, let's talk about the fire first. Right. And then we'll talk about future releases that I want to talk about. Um, because well, I think a lot of people just go in and know you're out there. And so let's talk. Let's talk about the fire first. You guys yeah. suffered a huge fire out of Gear Gun. Yep. September right. 26, so uh, Right. I think most people in the camp area knew about it. Oh, no, no, not knew about it. Um, and there was obviously a lot of fixed foot publicity about it. Um, did they, did, so obviously we don't want to do anything that. Did they ever determine, like, what was going on here? No. Really? No, they had, they had driven this company, it's on death, their inspectors, uh, some non-jacket ball, and their inspector, their shunt company, is fire article. Nothing was ever complained. They thought they, uh, something faulty at Earth Cobb unit, because all the damage was under what part? That the health is probably that, okay, so it was, but uh, maybe dad, but thought uh, maybe some kind of rough, little sad line, right? And, well, they, they got up to be abandoned, but he back to the rooftop. And it was pretty much a 100% loss. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We saved three walls and a quarter of our roof presses. Right. And what rooftop takes them in? They all. It's all the water. Yeah. Half the equipment. Half the equipment. Half the And so that setback was, you were close to how long? And it was September to middle of April of this year. Okay. That's so. Uh, uh, I'm like, so it was like two months of insurance that the one that uh, may out do their settlements. Yeah, it doesn't look. Yeah. We didn't even Yeah. They had to, had to do all their stuff uh, first before we didn't uh, explains. Right. So what did you do with that all the time? We still have a food truck. Okay. Uh, gotcha. We took a food truck, so we still have a little bar with you. Right. Yeah, I set up here. We went to that first one day. Uh, I'm injured at the of us, and they helped us train first in the food truck. Um, so I employ your body, so to be, be people that we didn't want to lose. We were able to pay that pay. Uh, they drove. That's awesome. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, we had a few tricks down on a couple couple episodes ago, and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a tough time for them. It's a very, coming out of COVID, there's a lot of businesses that are struggling. That's the one that that is struggling significantly because they, they didn't forecast what they thought was going to happen. 
they thought people were going to be, you know, working the all of the years. And they, here we are, we're out about, you know, we're not wearing masks. We're at your restaurant, you know, we're five limited serving. We're so limited on, you know, working at offices and anything with that. And they were projecting something much different. And with those projections, less driving, you know, less exposure to, to the elements. You can detect things in your house, water release, stuff like that. It's just good to hear that it's in. You hear it from people, I'm familiar with them. They really gave them a um, an awesome. awesome. So you got a spiegel, which isn't that far away. Right? That was not that long, six months ago. Yeah. You guys re do another soft opening up, so you remodel some stuff too. Yeah. yeah, so you guys put in, you also <laughs> kind of like a side bar. Or like it's a like a service station. <laughs> <laughs> or just, uh, I, I hated that. We were a brewery at that bar. Like, yeah, how the hell? Yeah, no, uh, I don't really like that people on. I remember like when I ordered beer, it was, it was kind of like that uneasy. Like, I just want to try stuff up here that will stand do it. Right. Similar to other places, other breweries, you know, that, that kind of do that. Unless you do the full fledged flights, which kind of. I don't know. It, it was just kind of awkward. So now you, I mean, you have a beautiful bar. I think uh, Josh took some some photos of it. We'll get them to stood on on page and, uh, along with the uh, this episode of the podcast. Wow, um, it looks great. We have a design. Did a great job. Uh, we took some pictures of the smokehouse. That wasn't in that, correct? No. Okay. And then uh, I've got a lot of pictures of here, which obviously was. Uh, did you, were you able to say close to your equipment here? So we saved everything except for. They were our two walks. It was a little bit scheduled. The bed. Yeah. The, the, everything was set kind of very rough off of That's all. Gotcha. So, you know, yeah. we, had, we had it kept with full. We had a pure of insulation. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just call it that it was all wet. You're the boat down. Right. I think that's all out. So, yeah, we could be down to the Yeah. Rewire, re bomb, go back. But all of our equipment's. Uh, the two of them? Oh, I mean, we had some Igor asked to go the half floor to a lunch oven. We got a match shiny, shining it up. We're at, but we have to wait and save it. Gotcha. So, April, you, you reopen and you focus on saving your your four products that were four before, right? Well, we have to start a brewery before. Well, okay. Um, in February, we got that brewery. says, we could turn this to a profit generator quickly. But I mean, we got this up and on. We don't want this our move one day. And so, yeah, we're great because it's going back to February or if we could sell it. Uh, they want to rent Right. Gotcha. That's cool. All right. So, when we open, we got a full, we a full on it. Right. Yeah. That's the magic because you have everything cooler, just ready to go. Um, I imagine that you were still selling beer. At First Levy? Yep. Let's talk about that. Okay. All right. So I've been to First Levy. I went to First Levy recently with some friends. Um, we were, we were, uh, it, there was a little bit of impact because we got a couple individuals with us that came all line. So we did some, you know, maneuvering around in my golf cart. The computer. And I, got, I brought my golf cart. I drove the golf cart, lifting it instead of down. And just did a golf cart thing instead of parking. Well, it was five. It's, that four seater, right. it was parked in front of on the pavilion to film. I did that. Um, I didn't see you. So, where are you gonna? What do you got? Um, I think it was about two months, two months prior. So, not October, so probably September. We went there in August. Okay. So, August is so hot that people won't be score. The, the, I mean, it's very cool. I, it could have been August. No, I think it was September, but I, oh, it, it could have been. It, it maybe not. Maybe not. But then, yeah. So yeah, obviously, don't tell me like a guy to give a lot of walk around, and then they don't want to drink. They rather have one. Like they this, they love that. Right. But so they, yeah. they're the anti. <laughs> yeah, it's always not perfect. Is that just new boat? Beer and water, you know, whatever. Uh, but uh, so yeah, we have four locations out there. Holy. We started, we started off with one, okay. and we started off uh, right after they, re they reopened. Go. 
So the first time I made what hundred hundred years, hundred and fifty years, that first one has been around, they they closed out the warranty once. And that was the first time in those years and clubs. Well out of the but once they reopen, we uh once yeah. We got a uh enclosed trailer, got it wrapped, set up there and started sell the beer. So uh give me child an idea where you're at. So, yeah, we're looking for locations. Our original location is in the Gap Trailer, is the high Boca Sockto. It was with that. That's a uh, big building, blue roof, uh, right between the uh, city side and the blue side. We have a uh, beer trailer there. That's a little outdoor pavilion, is what that. Um, the one by the public restrooms, uh, baby restrooms, um, both people know with the rest side guy. They're forever. Yep. That's how it's it's important to be close to public restrooms. Wait, they're well in the FDF. Oh, yeah. No, it's a good little south. Yeah, so we have that one there in the Empty Galley. Yeah. Um, the other trailer by the Arbors, the, the food court of the Arbors. And then our fourth location the is Port's Lock Cap. And I'm a Pam Sand. Well, yeah, we have it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Now, what you're going to do? Wow. Yeah, we're, we're in the busy month. Or, or oh yeah, or, holidays or audits. Who goes through twenty five thirty days? What? Twenty five to thirty days. Divided by four. I mean, you're going to send me kids a location. Or do you have some locations? We have some locations out of this. That pop. Right. Yeah. Right. Mix the rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our with you the while you're always always find me there. Yeah. Plus we go through twenty uh, twenty five buckets of caramel apple cider beer. Oh my god, you're gonna say Gria? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to make a bucket. Yep. So, you know, what do you make the Sangria? Um, uh, uh, the one? Um, no, we do with a, uh, like, rich, it's a tumor. You can't have a wine. Oh, oh, yeah. But apple cider, apple juice, chocolate apple, tar- uh, drawing, caramel syrup, spices on the belt. And, yeah, people want to have there. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now make a hat. Oh, we got your shop. We, All those vendors should be helping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Yeah. When we first started, we started with uh, Resolo Cups. Oh, oh, yeah. So we ended up running out of Resolo Cups. Went to that Overstock Joe's. Uh, All they had was um, Blue Rouse. And that was a, a big uh, advertising boom right there. Just clear cut. Clear cut. Because then people saw people wandering out here. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Where'd you get that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's some mickers out there that haven't, with refreshments, available for a tip. Yeah. They're not, probably not supposed to do that. Yeah, well, I guess I'm telling them. Tell them. <laughs> How are you? Not too yeah, I've heard those stories. I ain't going to grab them out, but yeah, I'll yeah. put them out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's awesome, man. That, for those that are going to be shot in all these, this is. Awesome opportunity if you're not a big shopper, just kind of deviate. It big clientele of oh, I did. You know, why was dragging off there? They don't want to be there. Yeah, here's some nice folks shopping. Gonna be right here. Here's yeah. some beers. You know, yeah, you know what? That's one of the things they do in Wimberley. You know, if you go to Wimberley or you go to Green, um, at some of those uh, crafty type shops, you get all the way to the back. They always have refrigerator and TV. That's where you find all the guys and try to, okay, here we go. Always rolls or shopping and trying things on. It's weird. Like it, just women are programmed to get to what feedback and get feedback. And so if you end up sitting back there and, and in your case, like city came me on a bench or whatever, and, and you're, you're hanging out, you're not saying much. You're just drinking beer. Hey, you know, what are you into? What are you, what's your team or whatever? Meanwhile, they're like, well, you like this on the end of the set. I mean, it's, uh, it's perfect beer. Oh, yeah. We all combine each other. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have, you you have every location yep. has live music. Are you serious? Yeah. Local yeah. bands? Local bands, band, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's been there. Yeah. 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 Josh, so we got to get a schedule of like mid first Mondays and at so that way at least we can post it to where people go. Because I never know. Because oh, well, you know sometimes the weekends 
fall funky, you know? Uh, but uh, October's already occurred, so we've got November, December pretty much that's left. Uh, and we want to know what those things are, so that way we can... And maybe, maybe we can put together a map or something or kind of get an idea where you'd be located so that way um, us guys can, can locate where you're at um, and, and, and partake in uh, which... Do, when you do those things, is it normally one or two pigs that you're focused on three pigs? Sort of... Um, the three biggest locations have those that they three pigs and then uh, the one with the rock and... No food though. No things. Uh, just, just, just here. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So, you know, we, we start off with a coral one. Let's say right now we start through the end of those, but the peach and everybody, we have, right. Yeah, people will get very bad. We don't have that. Peach right. Very bad. So 30, uh, 30 kegs, uh, for the weekend the before, the before it ends. That's amazing. And what is it? Um, what what is it? What do you charge? Do you have the sizes or one size? Or we charge eighty bucks out there for uh, yeah. Yeah. six now. Uh, six now. You're gonna pay double that at any any sports Yeah, yeah. you're gonna pay double. Yeah. yeah. And what's the beer? Eight bucks. Eight, eight bucks. bucks. Yeah. You were very dumb, boys, and you got pay six six. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> fun there though, because I've been able to. Uh, we have our regular people sure. all sure. over here, but we got we got to the cans and change a lot of people buy the uh, traffic. Right. You know, they, they walk by. Oh, let me get a little what? Blue out there. There you got it. Yeah. That way you can just have to. Oh, I couldn't hear I mean, I think we have one no cavity. I like, you know, that would be a little bit. Eight out of ten times, we see them at first. So, right. They just don't. They, they haven't tried enough to find the flight. No, oh, absolutely. That's what got me though. They had, uh, my first love in craft beer was a rip. Imperial red, it was anything red. Um, English red. Um, now it's more of a brown or off white box. This is awesome. Sorry, it's fun. It's amazing. All right, we're going to drop something that. Yeah, we'll record it. This is released around this time of year. In fact, I know it was released within the last week or so. Uh, Midwinter's Night Dream, it's a play, uh, playful way of uh, Shakespeare's uh, play. They uh, number acts and scenes. So this is from the actual play or plays of, of Shakespeare. Uh, Midwinter's Night Dream. Um, it's uh, distilled in Utah. Um, you ever been to Utah? Nope. No. I think I've stepped to that whole Fort Worth thing, but that's what I mean. And it only comes out around this time. Uh, this is a blended rye, so it's two rye that they blend together. It's probably my favorite rye, and it's finished in port barrels. Okay. So, a lot going on there. Um, this is year 10 for it, so active. Uh, and then they made multiple batches at scene six. So, uh, I think we'll enjoy this. This is one of my mom's favorites. Um, so, I speak old fashioned out of it, which, no, it's sketchy a little bit, but she likes this. It. It's her force, so she can do whatever she wants to do with it. Right. Um, I prefer it like this um so anyway i think we'll enjoy that um all right so let's talk about some previous releases then we'll get into the future releases so let's talk about some prior releases that that either really just went nuts or that you got a pretty like ah not bit okay so we had the same, you know, like flagships and most of the we um, always keep them have the rotate. So um I would have Dallas to do the light this fall, I think in the tackle water. Yeah, the Oreos right through about the belt. Yeah. And that uh we take a box of the prepped up Oreo boogie the back top it in the app and let at these two bad beers. Yeah, that's a big mess. It's a big mess. It is very sticky and that's after the dog. So it's left after is when we're farting and then and drain and the one way everything and so it's so it's super easy so walk up that i can't get anything this hat right built that so <laughs> it get probably at two to three hours on my word it isn't that big it's enough yeah but people like it it's the yeah, i'll do it again next time probably the best um practice record yeah i'll have it but that so yeah we can do that one 
the Pepsi will sell. The sound still what helps me there. <laughs> I do have somebody helping me. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah the Pepsi will sell. Model of the after uh, 40 day. The Pepsi will pop up. Alvarado. Oh, so wait for like the cinnamon, the chocolate, uh, a little bit of spice. So we throw cinnamon sticks in there. Ooh. The dill beans, they bourbon. Um, the dentures pour that in there. Cinnamon sticks, uh, a couple of eggs that are ghosted. And I took that. So we get a little bit of keep them back in. Awfully in this. So that's a pretty popular. We probably try and get that out once this winter also. Okay. Um, what else are we doing? Your dad would have been doing new new days, but they never took off. We make all in one to a little sparkly rabbit heat and more corn, so what's the kind of guy? Such and uh you know, except yeah, I thought you know, juicier than you know, gotta want that out here. But um, they they like the bitter hobby. Right. So we we stopped making the new meat ones. Babbled into peanut butter or bananas. Peanut yeah, butter a little bit. Uh, we did a collaboration with either Earth Brown. Okay. Yeah, we did a uh, Halloween release called Game Down. Yeah. Okay. So us, we did peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate salted caramel stout. So the beverage people were there, we supposed to get out of it. I mean, it's actually good. It's good. Nice. Yeah, that was that was impressive. Right. It was definitely definitely a uh, debut. Right. So. Um, nothing with the name of that. I'll think about it and maybe it just walk. It's okay, it's a little bit more taste and flow than you would have had. Guys, and it's still no apple. It's serious, it's just apple. Oh, yeah, yeah man, I love it. That's, that's peachy bar, you know. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's like, man, I'm, I got a job to do. Yeah. I take care of my cousin. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever something goes uh, wrong, we have a good job. Oh, okay, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, but you said your definitely wanted some, added some banana forward in it. Right, so that's that all comes from the yeast. We use the uh, bias heparin, you know, they, they culture the yeast from bias heparin. Don't uh, want on this, uh, uh, over in Germany. Gotcha. And we stress the yeast that we don't oxy oxygenate it as much as the yeast. Uh, we come in at a higher temperature. Right. So it stresses the yeast that produces the heavy banana note. I would think it'll help. Now, you get that flavor, that banana that flavor, but it's all from yeast. Okay. And you can also dial it back and make it low for it. So we've got the Mexican coming in, possibly. Right. That was a former and then the Oreo. I'll get one or two out of them. So okay. So sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to do that. But uh, I'm gonna have to know about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then any, any other fire releases that the fit them up or not? Um, that's been mostly flagship art art cream wheel. We have the capsules. We've got to do a fruited capsule. Yeah. Uh, let's we take that date mostly, and we'll age it on it for some of on a, a watering out on the draft board. Guava, a, uh, the blood. Yeah, that was a bit it. Right now, we went really off the wall and let mango up in there. Dean and then stuck at it. So, this is actually selling very well. Yeah. I don't think I'd leave here with a big uh, my wife for a while. Yeah, I mean, and I like warm, that would like helping you hard read it. So, right. I print it down. So, um, and I, I assume they're going to get even more popular as we get cool, cold, dry milk in this area. So, and then the cool thing is, if you order it here, um, on that, we dip the bath in a chamoy cane. Oh, uh -huh. and then for the mango habanero, so it was like a play on a spike, a spike tea thing, you know? Right. Yeah. Wow. And then they're going to think, so, uh, you may do some some fun stuff for hats. Like future, you, did you say you were going to do some fun? Like you want to bring out? Yeah. No, we'll we'll keep it with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to do a couple of one. You have to back it. Right. Is there anything in the, in the future? Ah, wait. Well, there you go. Are they? Is there anything that uh, you've already penciled in that other than you read up in German? Those are already. And what what are other things that you have penciled in, like for maybe just say two or four? So um, I want that to win the Living Railway step. So I um, think about the even or how it's bought. 
Adrian on cherries and a bourbon bottle. Well, let me. So let me do that. Close to old fashioned. <laughs> beer. All right. Oh, it's all. The salad. The big heavy and required the fiber. Okay. That's the best. I have wine at that button yet. But we're going to try it. So some day you decent like it or they don't rely on bacteria after you get to the nut. And so if you just have to use some lactic acid and then that would really salt a lot. It wouldn't. So we'd like to give that a shot. Do everything in sours. But yes, you know, we can't just come up with us and sing. Sorry, if there's some game by end of this. And it's hell good. Let's we'll try it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and if my, I need my towel. Um, no. Is that just being a little bit of my towel? Sure. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a football name. Okay. Oh, it's just good. Yeah. So, uh, let's sit over at GM Beer. In that house, they look. Um, this dude loves beer. No experience at all, but he loves beer. So, what did that beer open? We dealt it up too, and being tough. I mean, Diva Bunny made a bit of that for her. We got to her. Where did Bath start to come up with three tech? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to grab a few of that. Yeah. Uh, the funny things. Yeah. I mean, kind of blends. I mean, blends are just. We're out there. Right. Uh, some of the some of the brewers are excited. Just the weirdest stuff, different stuff. Um, and obviously, you can't appease everything. Because it is green. Yeah, can produce. Um, everybody has different outlets. But I think it's important to her cantonment the local areas here. And obviously, uh, you're producing more than just more to... How many, how many gigs do you have on tap right now? Oh, we could keep me on that. And you don't tap. Wow. That's why all the we have. Yeah. Okay. So plenty to choose from. Right. Uh, well, we have lights to do growlers. You do crowlers? Uh, growlers. You do, but, but you do can. So you right. can. We do. And you guys just started camping, correct? We started camping again. Right. right. Our, our equipment went down the bar. Okay. But we originally started camping and went. What? Because we had no way of publishing. Right. Um, we, we did something about our sales, but um, everybody, all the breweries were moving to the gang mall. Right. You know, right. Breweries and every port. Every port that's like that all. So I, I was looking for the tough, they're buying it. I knew it was all out. Call the guys at uh, East Texas and uh, Ryan and said, hey, can we just upgrade it to after Panline? So I, I got this uh, October Zebra. What if I'll go get it up there? Well, did you walk that from that? We turned again? Yeah, Gil Seth's a great guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a big couple of things. I dropped the, the barrel off with him this week. We were with his guys. Um, and, and they're going to do something pretty fun. Movie. I'm looking forward to the, probably another you know, Christmas time. Uh, uh, at ETX, so we'll have a special release. And get a little reaction from you all that one. <laughs> Tastes like uh, like all of these. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, we did have different. Yeah, with we'll screws. Uh, yeah. uh, it's yeah. that are yeah. ninety things for it. The sub one hundred and ninety dollars free. Cherry. Yeah, if I go from the uh, which there was more. It's, it's a double ride finish support part. Okay. So that's the that's the five with the free. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a holiday for sure. Right. Uh, yeah, I have one in California, they, they post pictures, um, whatever your other places. Yeah. Um, they got all that, that I heard them like, through, like, yep. Yeah. And, you know, the big stuff in California is camp here. That's here. Or it's one, two weeks, we only send beer back to Fort Yeah, absolutely. I was on the port, uh, most of Chris on that. Right. I'm real glad to go out of that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you got two boys. Yep. Two boys, uh, ages. I'm an at almost three. One of them's a tear. One of them. 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 One of One of them. 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 One that, that, uh, did anything stand out that, that you were like, mm, or you were like, thumbs? Probably, <laughs> but I don't want to tell my wife. 
<laughs> so the funniest thing in school probably was this kid will put ketchup on ketchup. Right, right. right. He puts ketchup on everything. Yeah. He ran out of ketchup. He could win the board Oh, that's the joke. Really good. So I would get if it, if it was his plate or his chair. But he would play a year and a half, maybe two. And he threw that chair out here for a plate across the room because she would not give him work that yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a little of that half two year old. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Um, the most terrible two is uh, one of us, two is one. Yeah. I did. I, I, I've watched and trended. Uh, and, and, uh, and you're a big cooper on the weekends. Yep. You do a lot of like gastro type stuff. Yep. You do uh, things that I would never touch. Uh, you know, pork belly and uh, you know some some really what crazy technical stuff. Where is that playing off of being a brewer, or is that after I came from my dad? Uh, okay. You know, on weekends it would be we'd be rolling, but it's something to call. Yep. Um, so yeah, got me into it. He tasted some beer in there. Uh, we got into it too. But in fact, uh, okay. so I don't like my grandma. I go over there, I'll work with stuff. Or big and was big ravioli. Right. So I just start creek and make pasta. I became like a another. Yeah, yeah. I moved out on safety. Uh, but spent time on myself, you know, here and there. I wanted to eat. No, oh, pretty odd. I never had to cook. And it was mediocre, but who would get to that? Um, basically, I hear when it's really started taking off, I, I walk out of this new start just to rent race, because then the old people were into it. So I had a short grade while I was with him. It did quite like develop a different thing. Probably post stuff that next week goes better. And it just, well, it's doable. If I can reach them, well, I'm going all out and stuff in the video, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to try to bait, go to the barbecue, maybe the power team is a difficult dish, and high barbecue. Is it the same at Trippie and Old Garrett Woodward? No, it's a uh, higher dad barbecue. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that. Higher dad? Yeah. Not like yeah, higher dad barbecue. Uh, all right. But he, he passed the transition of what I first started to not step with folks. I really didn't have to buy it after a few months, but. Um, mm-hmm. That's playing fear a little bit. Oh, I might have it at have this cook out like at home. Or, oh, you're uh, cooking every weekend. Yeah, yeah, taking the time to post stuff and it's not good. Play the whole Instagram games. Yeah, it it's after me about all. Right. So I could really lay off that art smart. Yeah, I could transition into the gear where we're going to do at the bar. Now. I'm a, a pre really elevate this venue. Vast three months that I've over. Right. I just take it up on the bike when I bring my experience the barbecue at home in country. Do you still have the beans? We still have the beans. Okay. okay. That's the beans. Okay. 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 The beans with corn bread. Uh, sword up. This is it. Uh, so we lost our connection with the fire. But yeah. Um, so friend was, yeah, I made some more bread. Our already is great for what we have casserole for uh, beer, a uh, stipper, our baby potatoes. Poor bread is not uh, this uh, the blood simply fit up and you are at that they can tell. Just where do you like being corporate free? Right. People love it. Where it's it was a visit to us again fake. The the take more on the you know take that away and here's some better appetite on keep point and share. Then you think a portion stare rubber right. rate edits. Right. Yeah, edits. Uh, yeah. Edits. Good boy in here. Yeah, we we saw we saw the beans. Go ahead. Awesome. Hey does we at this point, they want them to breathe best, and then hey, other than just pork rest. No, gotcha, gotcha. And, um, you also have something coming up pretty soon. All fruits. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so tell me about that. We'll be ordering a rotisserie next week. Okay. Uh, we'll do a small bit. You know, look style. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get more stronger. Yeah. Yes. Open our agro. We'll make it into a little bit. Uh, sell some tapioca. Seven band. Right. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll say all out. We're close to that. Right. You know, we'll, we'll pick all we'll the after from the table, talk to us to order for people in the patio. Right. So you pay to for you know a portion of that. Right. And then sides and then it's their taste. Yep. Okay. So yeah, and you'll have a date set to that yet. Um we will sit down and we'll want we'll outside. Okay. But yeah, that's definitely a lab right now. 
Cool. Um, I think that'd be awesome. Oh yeah. And then there's nobody doing that. So you've got you, you've got excellent ones here too. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm excited for yeah. that. Like I didn't know you had it. Yeah. You got axe throwing. What else do you, what other activities do you have out here? Open board game, or right. things like that. Okay. Uh, I do stuff that are very tough. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the axe throwing. Well, oh, you know. gotta do it. And get to grab a beer. For a coffee. The sign of consent. Yeah. Like a Luca. Maybe for me. They died. Oh. They died happily, buddy. All right, so uh, last four. I'm gonna, uh, this is a project I'm working on. This isn't the Wavel per se, but uh, it's a funny project. People that watch, that keep up with um, some things on the Wizard Club, and we're gonna do about this one. Um, and I'm excited about you trying it, because this is, you know, it's kind of a whole break, call it that. Um, so you're basically an alter, you know, finish drive, and uh, people love it. Uh, I've done about 13 batches uh, over probably a three year span. I did a lot of batches there uh, because people, things are crazy. Like people were still out just destroying liquor stores. Uh, and so uh, uh, it, we just sold just a ton of, uh, of uh, liquor stores. We just sell a ton of uh, just liquor. And so uh, it was our idea that they do some small craft. Um, when Crank finished, I built uh, st things that we would put a lot there. And uh, so doing like 12, 13 different hatches, I've done two dip big hatches, like where you fill the barrel also completely, cloverly, um, and they did. Mostly, you start with a you know a baseline, and then you go to so you like so some high end activities to to add to the mix, and then and then uh, you get you let it kind of warm up in the barrel, and then kind of like a beer, where you you know it's kind of boring in some ways, but when it comes out, it's like completely different. To a lot of people's palates, and, and uh, it's very surprising uh, to some folks that I ate eating. The thing I like so uh, the thing I like so much about this is that um, uh, it, it, it can get a lot of different palates. So you like a lot of scotch, okay? We could play nice there. You like um, high proof uh, whiskey, we could play there. Um, I like things that have tips that have multiple things to work. We can play nice there too. So it's uh, it's it's some fun to do. I enjoy it. My opportunity to be a chemist in some ways, which I have no background on doing, other than being a part of a bunch of barrel pits. And so understanding how people's palates kind of work and what they like and stuff like that. So. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Um, it's uh, it's been harassed for a day, so want to make sure that it had opportunity to come. So, I'm so already to it. That's pretty good. I like. Well, thank you so, Josh. I'm from Okay. If we go going down, we're just weed. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Give them a weed. It's a weeded bourbon that's been finished with honey. Sweet. All right. Glad you like it. All right. So, shout out to us. Okay. So, obviously, you've had your time with Rosemead. You move here. The wife's pretty well on that. Your dad comes over. He sounds like he's pretty instrumental in your life. Um, you've got the staff here. Um, talk, tell us about some folks that you want you want to appreciate. Definitely, them. Why they them and their wedding post today? All all the sales taking. I think you got. I agree that you got to be buying that. That I, I can see that to it. Yeah, just the life of all the definitely also. Yeah. Uh, Red Baron Martin. Yeah, then Sarah just take over the 
I have a minute. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. So they've been walking the board, rolling down with us. Yeah, we should have felt them. Sure. It was. Our problems didn't very out for one. Getting us to be where we walked and never worked. So, they have a It's like that. That is the way. Well, no. Gotcha. But it's one of the year without. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And some folks here. Yeah, we've got others. Yeah. Uh, all of the all of the years they were right. And we we have a lot of our pretty old. Anybody just that stands out? That's like a different snake for you. Um, here right now with Bart is he? You know, there was a lot of the right off. There would be served with the manager. Yeah, now she's done and very again on the rest of it. Also, yeah, our crew is rest on and I think I did they slide down easy. You have to do all that over here. And I, I like, uh, what, what did you say? Oh, oh, Peachy Mario. Peachy Mario, yeah, yeah well, <laughs> he, he's, he's, taking all, he's yeah. taking all the flats, yeah. I mean, and I like him already. It's like you blame him or whatever. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've we got great managers that uh, I have to worry when, oh, God. Yeah, I, I can go to bed if I don't worry about the place. I know I uh, say out of like, gotcha, if, like, a lot of some busy, so we enter the great thing. Awesome. I just said we get a word of play bills. I don't know. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. This is the road of day with us. It's a great business, man. And I think that uh, there's not enough people that know about it yet. But I think that once once you once you you get you know, your obviously first movie helps a lot. And then you know something like this uh, you help a little bit, but as something goes on, your products get tasted and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you're gonna need more room. <laughs> That's the yeah, plan, right? Yeah, Tear down some more studs, yeah. add some more room, right? Cool, man. At that point, it's all the quality of these quality bills. Right. That, that's what we did. Well, hey, thanks so much for having uh, like, us on. Uh, have this over. Uh, really, I mean, it's been a blast. Um, I'd love to see the team work. They're working hard. They're working hard. They're working hard. They're helping customers. And I, I appreciate that. Even the, the sound is. It's not me, Josh, it's probably frustrating you a little bit more. Uh, but um, I've enjoyed the time that we spent. I've enjoyed the, our force. Thanks so much for uh, the, the quad here that I've got. The triple you made, Josh, uh, he's already finished his. Um, and uh, your score, man, it's a great story. Um, it's an impromptu story, which I think is awesome. Uh, I think more people need to come out here and enjoy uh, with you guys, have an offer, smoke dials. A brewery, he's got a bar, he's got a winery. I mean, you have everything that everybody wants. You didn't expect to with we saw Dublin's off the one. You didn't hear about it. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Appreciate you so much for telling your story. It's going to be by this. It's tough. Uh, episode seven, uh, it's been great uh, here at, we're just going to call it Q. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Um, so, next. Next episode, we're going to change gears a little bit. Uh, we're going to get a Zoom uh, podcast, which is going to be a little bit different. Find me as Insmid. We already went shared before. We've got someone that's coming on that's a personal trainer for whiskey drinkers. Yeah. So this person really does a good job of focusing on. I've been through his program. I think you guys are going to love them. Can't wait to uh, have that episode here. Thanks so much.